Thad here in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. We are here in the City of Solitude. It's coming up on midnight. It is about to turn a new day. We are deep into the Dark Brotherhood questline. We're going to see if we can't kill ourselves an Emperor. And away we go. So, we have the note we need to prove that we are the Gourmet. So we're going to go ahead and take that note and try and poison the Emperor, I guess. All right, so we talk to Commander Morrow, who curiously enough looks identical to a dude I thought we killed and or did we not kill this exact guy? We, like, planted the evidence on him? Look at this. Plant incriminating letter on Gaius Morrow's body. Commander Morrow. I don't really know, but okay. Tower is off limits until further notice. Something spooky about this. Well, here's the gourmet's writ of passage. Proof we are the Emperor's personal chef. What's this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra, the Gourmet. Hey, I, keep it down. I'm Shh. Sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand? I'm, you're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Oh, I bet she has, Morrow. I swear that's huh? the same guy. We are here in the Emperor's Tower. Very cool. Check this place out. All right, let's see if we can find the kitchens and get to the killing. Oh, sorry, cooking, cooking. I mean cooking. Oh man, she looks like a witch the way that like the lights hitting her. We should probably take a chef's hat, right? And let's just whip that on. Doesn't that make sense? Let's see here. Let's see how this does for us. So we'll whip it around. Oh yeah, that's that's much better. We're in our Dark Brotherhood tidies and we will uh not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Talk now put whatever to you have Gianna over there. And get here. Out. Let's kind of as you turn around to talk to me. We'll talk to her over the fire. That's fine. Hey, Gianna. Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have Gianna, over there. Gianna, 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 relax. I'm the gourmet. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... What? Hmm, you're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like that? Here in Skyrim? Or maybe somewhere less... Woman, the gourmet is here to cook, not talk. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish. The potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. Wow. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots. Carrots? Really? Yep. Okay. What next? Little mead. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. This time we're going to remain silent. Okay, uh, let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. Now you add in one gold septum. A septum? As in a gold coin? Yep. Really? Yep. Ah, I see now. That would give the potage le magnifique a slightly metallic but delicious aftertaste. <laughs> and someone might brilliant. choke on the coin. <laughs> Dangerous. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, uh, is that it? 
One final ingredient. It's poison. <laughs> oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Perfect, woman. I'm the gourmet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. She's kind of pushy, huh? And if I may Mental say so, note, kill her. It has her. been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. I'm a little uncomfortable with how smoothly this is gone. What was our... We'll just leave the hat on. This is, um, this is our, oops. This is our new look. It's fine. Oh, she's really gonna carry it right now. Regardless what we've done. Is there a book here? Uncommon taste. Let's go ahead and grab that. <laughs> By the gourmet. We've written a book, wow. Very fancy. She's kind of a slow walker, huh? Let's go. The emperor's gonna love it. How can he not? Yeah, it'd be crazy. Keep it together, Gianna. Keep it together. Keep it together. All right, we're just gonna run ahead. Maybe she'll catch up. I don't know where we're going, but stairs are over here. There we go. There we go. Aren't you even the least bit nervous after everything that's happened? You mean the wedding? My cousin's apparent murder? An unfortunate misunderstanding. No more. Cold mead, hot tempers. I gotta tell you, I picture the Emperor's voice differently. Quiet. Yet that recent business. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes. Okay. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And. Shall we just blast him from here? Assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial. Killing an emperor can be useful? Excuse me, what? Oh, we've got to walk inside. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. Ah, yes. Haha. <laughs> the gourmet. Ah, wow, you had to tell everyone who we were? Le so Why would you do delicious. that? My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. Yes, of course, first taste. <laughs> Oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I, huh, run. Wasn't us. We didn't do it. Run! By the gods, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Get them! Requires what? a key. No, no, you... Cannot be opened. Okay. I'm gonna admit... I don't understand. Let's call in an been some kind of dying mistake. ghost. I... <laughs> we'll see how the undying ghost does. He should be pretty dangerous. And then maybe we'll call in a firestorm next. Mortal fool. No one hides from the dead. That is, that your We've never called in this undying ghost before. But he seems to be doing work. That's it. That's all you've got. Do we also have the ability to call in a whatever firestorm? Everyone back. There is no more life here. Wow, she survived. Very impressive. I did want all of that though. Gianna, you okay? Keep it together, Gianna. Keep it together. Keep it together, Gianna. None of this is real. It's all in your head. There's not an undying ghost. The emperor was not murdered by the spoon in your hand. I am not wearing a chef's hat. Here, have some of this action. Okay, that's good. That's good. What do these guys have? Two gold. How much gold? Not one, but two. No wonder these guys, 20 gold, that whole chest, 20 gold. No wonder these dudes are struggling so much. They, they're broke. 
This is why they're losing to the, the Nords here. Up in Skyrim. They're broke. They can't, like, pay their wages or whatever. They can't feed their armies. Oh, they're all alive. Interesting. Well. Hi. We're, uh, we're with the Brotherhood. I know it's not, um, not tradition, but we're just going to do one of these. Welcome to our little party. All right, well, did we get the Emperor or not? I guess that's kind of the, the follow-up question. Okay, all doing is real. All right, we'll take that. Sounds like a real laugh of a book. Okay, some clothing. The Emperor's robes. I feel like he was underguarded. And these seem like nobody nobles. Like, if this was really the Emperor, wouldn't there actually be, like, important people with him? Not some random nobles in noble cloth. And he had all of two guards? Like, this feels a little bit suspicious to me. And by a little bit, like, my, like, suspicion senses are tingling off the charts. Looks like we're up on this bridge? Doesn't seem like anybody knows we're here. Which is pretty good for us. Escape the tower is the current... The current... What they're telling us to do. I was trying to see, do we have our summon in? Okay, there's that one. And then for our powers... Apparently we did call in our Spectral Assassin, I just did not notice. Any reason to escape the tower we don't just like... Is there an invisible wall here? There is, look at that. We cannot... I was just gonna jump off. Somebody's clapping. <gasps> it was a setup. That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. Excuse me, what? You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me. It was Astrid. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. She's the only one that calls it a family. Everyone you, else and the did dark not. Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. What a terrible idea. He's being put to the sword right now. That's Seriously? what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Oh, it's another Chill. morrow. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. Whatever. Okay, hold on. Guys, we can talk about this, right? I don't know if you know this, but I will call in a dragon on you. Did that work? Okay, new plan. I will call in a bear. Okay. I called a dragon, he did not show up. I'm a little embarrassed about that. Bear? Okay, I've got a bear. That's good. Good for me, bad for you. Now that I've got a bear... Next, we'll conjure in a Dramora Lord. No idea what this thing is. Here we go. We absorbed it. Okay, we've got a Dramora Lord. That's got to be good for us. A little elemental blast. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Whoa, nope, 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 nope. That's what you get when put an arrow through us, you fool. What's my Dramora guy? What's up, guy? You are scary. Oh no, it's the guards. Okay, these guys are actually tough. We need to not mess with these guys. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I'm with the guild. I'm a thane. I'm incredibly persuasive. I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. Done. Done. Now move along. Okay, you thank you. Trouble. 
Yep, no problem. We need to kill that Morrow guy, I feel the like, though. Cousin killed right here in Solitude. Really, that's crazy. The Emperor's cousin was killed right here in Solitude? I have never. Ooh, this is an underground section. It's a load screen? <gasps> We're right under it. No way. All right, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's check our quest log. Return to the sanctuary, of course. Oh, we can't fast travel there either. Ooh, things are happening. Did you see a dog out there? What sort of dog? I don't know, really. All right, then. All right, then. Oh, gosh. Come on. Of course we get a bounty. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her Really? What say you in your defense? I've committed crimes. 1,700 gold. Or pay 40 and lose all of our stolen stuff. Alright, alright. Just keep your voice down. Don't let me catch you again. Okay, don't catch me again. I thought we were talking about a dog. We were trying to see a man about a dog. Alright, let's try and get back. Yeah, we're dragon board. We get that a lot. Alright, we need to get back to the sanctuary. Where the Dark Brotherhood's hanging out. And see if the, um... The, the, the Peniox... What were they? Penultiox? Penoculus? Penoculus. Oh, 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 oh. They know I'm here. All right, and they're after me. They want my lucky charms. Stop that. Enter the sanctuary. It was an ambush. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. The the Peniox are after us here. Search for survivors. You fools. We are, like, incredibly dangerous. See, doesn't that look like a fake wall? I've been saying that, like, forever. Alright, I don't know if when I said it, it made it into the final cut. Where you at, crazy boy? We might get in some real trouble here. Because, oh, man. As I can't see anything. We might have to run through this fire. Here we go. We're at the word wall. The word wall. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Like how there's oil on the ground everywhere, which means that... Kill Nazar's attacker. Done. We missed. Nazar, are you alive? It's a little hot in there, man. Nazar, are you okay? <gasps> so you are alive. I was starting to wonder. Man, everything went wrong. We were betrayed. It was all a trap. Astrid set us up. Considering most of us are now dead, I, I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <laughs> well, maybe I did. Saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. My guy, the smoke uh, inhalation is so gonna kill us. We gotta nice. like get out of here. You've got that right. <coughs> so you are alive. I was starting to wonder. Good luck. And try good luck. Killed. Why did he say good luck like Listener, that? I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I think she's right. Hey, Nazir, uh, it's it's time for a group hug with the Night Mother. There's got to be a way out of here. There is. Everybody in. Ho <laughs> ho Nasty. I think we just got like launched into orbit. Skyrim space program. 
has just uh, leveled up. I mean, the Giants gave us a good whack a few times, but this is a little more than a giant whack off here. I mean, we are just getting blasted out of here. Where do you think we landed? I heard the glass break, and I felt like the earth shake as we launched through it. I bet we're, like, stuck in a tree. He's in there. I'm going. The most flammable member of the fast. Brotherhood survived. As I can, you stupid, you stupid she, devil. she devil. I don't see you helping. <laughs> what? Helping. You think we're underwater? I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more. Oh. There. Can you get it open? I think so. So it's the child the empire in the uh the dude you from must Elder Scrolls 6. With Astrid here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Why would we do that, Night Mother? Alright, she wants us to talk to Astrid. I'm not happy about this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Traitorous Slow scum. Alright. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. No. The Night Mother has another task for me. Oh. Let's go. Well, in that case, lead on. I'm right behind you. How did the vampire Lizia survive? told me what happened in solitude. You poor dear. You've been through so much. Huh? Thanks, Granny Bobbitt. All right. I guess we got launched into the water or something. Oh, we broke the glass. That was some really nice glass, you know? The forge has gone out. That's kind of weird. The forge is never out. You wait, we're going to get the Astrid and she's going to be like with her dying breath. Have you gone to Voland yet? Yes, we've been to Voland Rund or whatever. Uh-huh. That's right. That's the shape of the Skyrim secret doors. I knew there was a secret door here. Astrid, if you mention Voland Rund, I'm uninstalling your whole face. Oh, no. <laughs> She made Why? herself into a black you sacrament. <coughs> I'm sorry. So very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. M Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. He lied, you forever. stupid cow. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. Yep. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. You tried. I've killed everyone else. Also true. We have nothing to say to her. We remain silent. We are the listener. Our words are not for her. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. Wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Mero has betrayed me. Yeah. I just wanted things uh, uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. Nasty. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe so that you can see it through. You must kill me. Yeah, no problem. Hold on. Nazir? Could you just take like a few steps that way? They cannot. All right, everyone follow me this way. Okay, come on, team. Everyone out of the spooky secret hole. <laughs> Dead. Thank you. 
All right, Ashford's got nothing. What's new? I didn't like. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Well, most people don't realize they're the villain. By the sands, I still can't. By the sands. Oh, I'm gonna start saying that more. Oh, by the sands. I gotta tell you, Astrid is Ooh. dead. Why are you so loud? It is as it should be. Okay. May she find redemption in the void. Yeah, but Night Mother, we still need to kill an emperor. What's but the plan? But while you live, the Dark Brother. Yeah, lives. see, back to business. Come on. We must fulfill our contract. Yeah. Emperor Titus Mead the Second must be eliminated. Yeah, let's take him out. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. We fell in the but water. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. Okay, tell Nazir the juice. All right, where did Nazir go? Nazir, you little kooky kook. By the sands, man. Where did you go? There we go. There we go. All right, Nazir. By Sith. Can we steal his sword mess. now? I guess this is the end. Actually, Nazir, you have it in completely backwards. This is the beginning. What? Well, what did she say? We're going to finish the contract. We killed the Emperor. Nothing's changed. Business as usual, but back on the Night Mother's schedule as the order should be. Armand Motier? But that would mean... You mean... Contract's still, still on. But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Nazir, by the sands. Relax. Trust me. <laughs> All right, then. Go. Go, my listener. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Agreed. Listen, when you're finished with this imp and come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? All right, done. Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. So if we do want these shrouded whatevers, we should probably grab them. You know, that extra Cicero that lived here that we spawned in, I wonder if he's still here. Let's check that out really quick. So they promised to move the the night mother. Okay, that's crashed, crushed. I bet they're dead. Crashed and crushed. Done. So they're gonna move the night mother and get set up at the Dawn Star Sanctuary. We probably should have told them that Cicero is still doing Cicero stuff. I'm sure they're gonna appreciate that. Everyone loves when when Cicero is doing Cicero stuff. Oh my goodness. Who shot all these arrows into this? Aw, oh, man. Festus. He only had 20 gold. He died with 20 gold in his pocket and like a thousand arrows. Ghostly remains. So something was looking at me. All right. Let's go ahead and jump our way back to Whiterun. And we will... We'll find out what the uh, what the dudes got going for us. Man, it has been a long time since we've been in right run. It is cool to see this tree start to grow again. I think eventually it does grow into a healthy tree again, which is very cool. All right. I believe they said the bannered mayor. Be careful. I know I mentioned this a while ago, but All right, hold on. Bannered mayor. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Thank you. Does he look different? <clears throat> oh, he's got stuff to steal this time. Sapphire, ruby, garnet, what emerald, diamond. I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. Modier, we have unfinished business. By the gods, you, you're alive. But I had heard your sanctuary. Please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the emperor dead, the true emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He... 
Where is the Emperor? The real Emperor. You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Obviously. Why, this is astounding news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. No if problem. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Please. Why shouldn't we just kill him now? Is there then, any reason we don't kill him now? Fight. Hold on. What was that? He's still a crucial NPC. We cannot kill him. All right, you live. For now. Your days are numbered. I'm killing that guy. I don't like him. Like, what are his motives for killing the Emperor? Don't know. Don't like that. Oh, they are literally quite just uh, just outside the... This might be not a great fast travel. But they are quite literally just outside of... Just outside, let's see here, there should be a new boat, huh? Have I seen that correctly? Maybe we can swim this one? We'll try and swim it with the horse. Alright, Shadow Mayor. Get, get it together. Put it in high gear. Blade of Well, what a sweet dagger. Excuse me, Horkers. Excuse me, Horkers. Oh, <gasps> look at this big boat. Oh, that's cool. Not a lot of boats. Well, the best way on is probably... <clears throat> let's see. My guess would be... Can we climb up like a an anchor chain or something? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. We found the Cataraya. Ooh, we've got a little questy marker here. Look at that. One big fancy boat. Look at that. It's a chain for the oars. Excuse me, Shadow. Let's um open it up. Uh oh. And that's the last one. All right, enough of this. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh man. This is how he dies. Ooh. Can we stealth this whole thing? Come on, let's get something to eat. Gods, I'll be glad to see the last of Skyrim. One. Dragons. Murder, two. Murder. We sail right into the middle of it with the Emperor on board. I think we'll all feel better once we're back out to sea. Won't be long now. Can we stealth this? Oh. Oh, maybe. Nobody has seen us yet. Well, it's all over now. Left. Expert door, but they see me. I've got to get this thing open. Said you could see the smoke from Whiterun. Yeah, I'm glad we can finally stand down. Getting tired of looking over my shoulder all the time. Is someone there? Nothing to do now but sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip home. No one's there. Nobody's and here. Once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. You can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. You never could. Wow! What a dude! Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. That means he knows that the Night Mother... Wow, okay, this is heavy. We're gonna act surprised. You were expecting me? But of course. You and I have a date with destiny, but... So it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, 
Would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? Of course. Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So, I ask of you a favor. <laughs> an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once no problem. You've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? No problem. Well, perhaps you'll at least consider it. Hmm? Now, on to the business at hand. That's how it is, huh? The Emperor. Literally... Literally the Emperor here. We're just stealing his stuff over here. He's got good stuff. Elves ears? Oh my goodness. Argonian accounts. Whole bunch of gems and rings. Read the book of the lost legends. Oh yeah. Some gold. Ring of stamina. Whoa. I'm sure he uses that quite a bit. Oh my goodness. Gold, a potion of healing. Some good items. Dragon's plate, insulated gauntlets. Sure. Love it. Some more fine clothes. Silver helmet, gilded wrist guards, satchel, potion of healing. We're gonna take his book on sovereign guards, on frontiers. We're gonna put these in our bookshelf back home. If there's one thing that we have going for us is I don't know exactly how valuable books are in Skyrim, but our collection is robust. If we pull open Really quick, I'll pull open the metric here. We've read 427 books. All right, he's got quite a few. Oh my goodness. We're taking all his books. I'm not kidding. We're gonna put all of them in our house. On our own bookshelves. He's got Histories of the Empire. Volumes one through, I think, four. He's got the, the biography of uh, Baron Zion. I'm a little bummed he doesn't have one of the stones here. I'm gonna be... be the first to admit that. The Abadala. I don't think we've read that one. The Dragon War, we've definitely read. The Eagle and the Sea Ghost, we've read. The Argonian Accountant. Is that a code? The Argonian Accountant? Or is there the Pirate King book? Man. Galarian the Mystic. He's got some sweet books here I feel like we haven't seen. Expert Display Case. Almost there. There we go. What's in here? Just a uh, glass mace, we'll leave that. It's just not valuable enough for us right now. Life of Ur Ural Septum the Seventh. Read the Amulet of Kings. What is else he got? The Oblivion Crisis. So these are the books that are on his desk here. Read Brothers of Darkness. As their name suggests, the Dark Brotherhood has a history shrouded in ob Fusication. Man, I've really struggled with this font. Their ways are secret to those who are not themselves brothers of the order. Brother is a generic term. Some of the deadliest assassins are female, but they're often called brothers. How the Dark Brotherhood continues to exist in the shadows, but be easily found by those desperate enough to pay for their services, is not the least of the mysteries surrounding them. The Dark Brotherhood sprang from a religious order. See? Didn't I say that? The Morag... I don't know if that's a C, a T, a G, a D, a B, an E. I'm gonna guess it's a T. It's either T for Tong or D for Dong. I don't know. During the Second Era, the Morag Kong were worshippers of the Daedra spirit Mephala. Mephala encouraged the, De the Morag Dong to commit ritual murders. In the early years, the Morags were disorganized and... Okay, I'm getting confused here. Disorganized as only obscure cultists could be. 
There was no one to lead the band, and as a group, they dared not murder anyone important. This changed with the rise of the Night Mother. All the leaders of Morag, Long, and afterwards the Dark Brotherhood have been called the Night Mother. Whether the same woman, if it even is a woman, has commanded the Dark Brotherhood since the Second Era is unknown. What is believed is that the original Night Mother developed an important doctrine of the Morag Gong, the belief that while Mafala does grow stronger with every murder committed in her name, certain murders were better than others. Murders that came from hate please Mafala more than greed. Murders of great men and women please Mafala more than murders of unknowns. We can approximate the time this belief was adopted with the first known murder committed by the Morag Gong in the year 324 of the Second Era. The Dotentate Potentate Versidu Shei was murdered in his palace in what is today the Elsewhere Kingdom of Senjiao. In a brash move, the Night Mother announced the identity of the murderers by painting Morag Gong on the walls in Potente's own blood. Previous to that, the Morag Gong existed in relative peace, more or less like a witch's coven, occasionally persecuted but usually ignored. In remarkable synchronicity, at a time when Tamriel the arena was a fractured land, the Morag Dong was outlawed throughout the continent. Every sovereign gave the cult every sovereign gave the cult's elimination its highest priority. Nothing more was officially heard of them for a hundred years. It is much more difficult to date when the Dark Brotherhood emerged. Other guilds of assassins have sporadically appeared throughout the histories. The first mention of the Dark Brotherhood that I found is from the Journal of the Blood Queen Arlimabera of Hagathi. She spoke of slaying her enemies by her own hand or if necessary, with the help of the Night Mother and her Dark Brotherhood. The secret arsenal my family has employed since my grandfather's time. Arlimabera wrote this in 2E412, so we can surmise that the Dark Brotherhood had been in existence at least 360 years if her grandfather had truly used them. The important distinction between the Dark Brotherhood and the Morag Dong was that the Brotherhood was a business as well as a religious cult. Rulers and wealthy merchants used the Order as an assassin's guild. The Brotherhood gained the obvious reward of a profitable enterprise as well as the secondary benefits that rulers could no longer actively persecute them. They were needed. They were purveyors of a sensual commodity. Even an extremely virtuous leader would be unwise to mistreat the Brotherhood. Not long after Ali Mabera's journal entry came perhaps the most famous series of executions in the history of the Dark Brotherhood. The Kolovian Emperor Pontitate Savarin Chirac and every one of his heirs were murdered on one bloody night in Sun's Dawn of 430. Within a fortnight, which is 14 days, if you're too young to know that, it's 14 days, okay? It's not just a video game, it's a measurement of time, it's 14 days. Within a fortnight, the Kolovian dynasty crumbled to the delight of its enemies for over 400 years until the advent of the warrior emperor Tiber Septum Chaos reigned over Tamriel. Though no comparably impressive executions have been recorded, the Brotherhood must have grown fat with gold during that time. That is a unique book. What is in this case? Let's see. An Orcish War Axe, okay. Well... It is time. I know it can be tough to appreciate this, but this is actually like a massive stinking weapon we spawn in. Titus Mead. This is the end for you. Well? We're not sorry. It's nothing personal. It's very interesting to me that he did not really try and fight this. 
I don't really understand why. Clearly, the Night Mother has put the fear of, of everything into him. And I think we shame his guards and just leave. Now, I want to be very clear here. There is a special sword in here we're not picking up. It's a like a, a scimitar, scimitar thing. We just don't need it. It's a unique sword. It's from Redfall. It has like a unique ability. But the only way to get it is to... The Horkers can see me. Is to clear all these guys out. We're not doing that. Is uh, We are an assassin. Nobody saw us. Nobody knows anything about us. Nobody saw us. So we are going to... We're going to keep it that way. There's my horse. Are you kidding me? Come back, horse. We... We, uh... We would like to ride you. Thank you, Shadow. And away we go. Oh, it bugged out. It's like hardcore running, actually. It doesn't realize this is water. Hey, hey, hey. Curiously enough, right next to Dawnstar, just about. All right. Let's get back to the dude who gave us the... The job and see if we can't get our payment. Is uh, He owes us money. We give praise. We are but we killed an emperor. It's not something everybody gets to say. Actually makes us uh, pretty rare. Might actually make us more rare than the... than Ready being now. the Dovican. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Oh, okay, sure. You're someone who can get things Uthgard? done. Uthgard? I like No matter what you hear, don't let anyone enter this room. Thanks. Uthgard and I go way back. We love a strong lord woman. You're back. Yep. The Emperor, the contract is fulfilled. I know, I know. I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire. Indeed, all of Tamriel in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, uh, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Yeah, our business is concluded. We are going to give him the touch of death. You're willing to kill an emperor. What is this map? But we had a deal. Yes, yes we did. Thanks. Off we go. Bye bye. Nothing to see here. What is this guy doing here? We heard you were dead. Motier's in the back room if you've got business. Oh, that's his bodyguard, dude. Oh, that guy's gonna come at us with a vengeance, I bet. All right, let's go and grab that final payment then. I gotta tell you, you might, you might not remember, but right at the very start, I said we're just gonna go all in on the Nords. Whatever the, how are we in the wrong place? Oh, there we go. Or we're going to just go Nords in our decision making, whatever, whatever the outcomes are, whether it's right or wrong. We're just going to role play RP as like for the Nords, 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 right? And oh, by the way, we did search everything in here. I don't know if it all made it onto the camera at the end, but we searched everything here and this did not have anything in it. 20,000 monies. Nice. Let's get back to Nazir at Dawnstar, see what happens. For the Nords, you, it might not be immediately obvious our actions and how they have benefited the Nords, but let's um, let's wind back the clock here. The Vampire Menace is settled. You might say to me, no, 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 but Vad, you, you killed Harkin. Like, that's not settled it. You put his wife in power and daughter? No, I did not. I did not put them in power. I think they are currently fractured in a major way. Well, Harkin might have kept the vampires in like a holding pattern. The... He was a strong enough leader to hold them together for literal thousands of years. So our actions with Harkin were actually a net positive for the people of Skyrim. Now, maybe in inside the next 20 or 50 years, the vampires will be a problem again. But also, the Dawnguard's completely intact. 
The Dawn Guard has him in touch, which means the Dawn Guard is strong enough to like fight the vampires as they try and rise. Harkin not being on the table is kind of a big deal. And we scooped up all those Elder Scrolls. Like all in all, like that is a plus one for stability in Skyrim. And then you say, well, that you got the Thieves Guild back on its feet. Like that's not good. No, no, you got that backwards. The Thieves Guild is a healthy part of Skyrim's economy. Not only is the Thieves Guild a healthy part of Skyrim's economy, it graces all kinds of wheels for commerce you know, on an international level. You know, the Thieves Guild is what, what gets gets things moving around here. And sure, they might they might squeeze some people, but they also they also make people behave. You know, the guards can do a lot of good killing people and locking them up, but the Thieves Guild, like, hey, maybe I shouldn't do this because someone's gonna send someone to rob me. Like it, it, it again is a net positive. It might not be immediately clear, but let's really quick jump into the Dawnstar Sanctuary. You just can't have a weak thieves guild running out of Skyrim because that means there's going to be some other like, like, you know, unjust. Ooh, check this out. Some just are closed. There's going to be some other like, you know, schmucks showing up trying to thieve things. And like, that's not cool. Like we've got a, a legendary thieves guild who's directly. Well, what's up this year? What word of the emperor? We did it, dude. Truly? Yes. Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Uh, Recent events probably. notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. True. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? More than you pay. 20k, big boy. Ha! Remarkable. Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. You don't say. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. All right, Nazir, sounds like like a plan, man. Let's check in on on um Cicero here. So we might have to spawn another Cicero in, in order to have a Cicero. Now I'm not exactly sure. What? It is oh done. gosh, she scared me so hard. Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead. That and is the true. Dark Brotherhood yet lives. Also true. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. These are radiant quests. There are ten Yet quests. another child has prayed to their mother. Of, of course. Speak with the blasphemous ah, priest at the temple of Kinnereth in White Run. Accept his gold, then kill the target. Hail, Sithers. So these are Radiant Quest. There is just an unlimited nether of these contracts. I, I think there's 10 unique ones you can get that are tied to... Listener! Oh, what's up, guy? Good to see you. Oh, yes, it is, Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What, did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener, not you. Now you will die. Not likely. Ah! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, listener, you should see the look on your face! <laughs> oh, Cicero has returned! Not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends forever. Okay, BFFs. In the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure Mother needs tending. I'm sure she does. 
He does have an ebony dagger, and uh, we can make him a follower. All right. Whoops. Nope. We're going to jump over to Delvin and go ahead and grab these upgrades. So again, I I was literally just talking about uh, the Thieves Guild has a serious amount of of a value that, that the they create. Saying things about you. Now, granted, they also are problematic for a number of reasons, but having them in line with Nocturne is overall a net positive. It's not as good as like a, eh, I don't want to get off track there. Like there's, there's things that could be better than having the Thieves Guild back on its feet, but this is not a bad position to be in for, for Skyrim. It's better than when the Thieves Guild kind of sucked because it just created an environment that would make it really easy for the, uh, the evil elves to take over. But having a robust, active Thieves Guild with active, you know, trained, qualified, competent members running missions definitely makes it harder for the 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 Elvish threat to push in. Always a pleasure, boss. What could I do for you? Uh, I got some money so you can get some supplies for the Dawnstar Sanctuary for the Dark Brotherhood. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what. It will cost you a lot, but I can help you out. What Great. exactly are we talking about here? All right, so we're going to get all the things, okay? New banner, 1,000 gold. Banners, huh? Try to put you the place up. All right, you got it. Of course you do. 5,000 gold, yeah, that will poisoner's in nook. And it's an alchemy station. station. Maybe a little guard with some choice plants. All right. Consider it done. All right. And 5,000 gold. We'll grab the secret yeah, entrance. We can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel dead inside. You'll be in or out quick as a coney. Okay. And Tell me what you need, and I'll get my. Let's get ourselves a room. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Right. No problem. Give you a big bed, decorate a room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. And tell me what you need, and I'll get my pizza. One on torture it. chamber. Uh -huh. Now that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. No one wants it. Right. I'll see that it gets done. Thanks, Delvin. I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And uh, good luck with your murders. Thanks, Delvin. So that is all of the upgrades the only way you, we can, can get for the for the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. And it's actually quite substantial what they do. We're going to go back and check them out. There are a couple of victims being tortured who we can engage with. And in doing so, they will all give us a treasure map. We're not going to do that at all because I don't think that sounds like fun. But that is one of the one of the new mechanics is there are four little treasure hunts you can go on. In addition, the most of the followers in Skyrim actually stop leveling at like level like 10, 15, 20, etc. But there are two potential like ass initiate assassins in here that if we pick up as a follower, they're one of the only they're one of the handful of followers that will level past level 50. Which is which is a big deal as uh, we're level you know 100 plus or whatever. So here's the night mother and Cicero. We've got an alchemy lab. We've got some plants that should be regrowing here, which is pretty sweet if we need them. We've got Babette here, which by the way, Babette and the other dude are like top tier trainers and a thing I forget what. Have you seen Astrid? We've got our medallion back you. up. It seemed urgent. Astrid Come Nazir, the we watched her die in our face. His dialogue is still bugged. Here is one Listen, of the initiates. An stand before you. Probably going to have one of them come with us is they are also a, if I'm remembering correctly, they are a, ooh, an unkillable NPC or whatever. Let's try and see where the secret entrance is. So a little archery range. Very nice. 
Oh, this is our room. Okay. Some turboing gloves. These are one of the only gloves that have, I think, a lock picking buff, or you can get a lock pick on them. Like, kind of a big deal. Some shrouded robes, a second set, deadly fear poison, stamina, magic, alteration. Whoa. Scroll of fear, worn shrouded cowl. We're gonna leave that alone. We'll grab the coin part, coin purse. Hate to leave that lying around. Here is a mannequin. Got on some shrouded stuff on it. Very cool. Anything else in here of note? Probably is a little garlic. Probably is something I'm just not seeing in a weapon rack here. We've got a bed we can sleep in. This chest has something in it. Oh, 12 gold, very nice. So it's a neat little room. So we have our own room, which is uh, which is nice. Is not everyone has one of these. Okay, who is this? Okay, here's the other initiate. So those are the two initiates. Hypothetically, we could get both of them to follow us if we kind of did something a little sneaky. I don't want to get too off track there. Where was the secret entrance? Who do you think sleeping on the rocks in here? You know it's it's the little vampire, huh? Also, if you're starving as a vampire, the Dark Brotherhood dudes will let you just feed off of them. Like, uh, no consequence at all, which is kind of nifty, kind of handy. If that's something that you value or need. I'm Have really trying to Astrid? find she needs to where that secret you. entrance is. I just, Come I don't to me. know. Oh man, it's it's the, the torture victims. We're leaving them alone, but if you mess with them, you will, you'll be able to get treasure maps, but like, I'm not about that, so we're not doing it, but it is, it is a thing you can do now. You, you now have an opportunity for a treasure hunt. Okay, this looks like it could lead to a secret entrance, exit. I just want to know where the exit comes out. You think it's the wall? That'd be sweet. It is. Check it out. Right through the, uh, the Night Mother's birthing hips. Let's go. Whoa, that is hidden. Oh, shoot. Do they see me? Who are those guys? Khajiit, what do they want? We didn't do it. It wasn't us. We are just outside of Dawnstar. Just hidden in these little little rocks here. I wonder if we could have gotten in here before. So we could travel to Dawnstar and then just pop our way across. Oop, dragon. Nope. No, 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 no. We're not doing it, dude. We're not doing the dragon attack. Let us go. We will just pop over to Dragon's Reach. Should be safe from dragons here, hypothetically. Right? Maybe, kind of, sort of. No dragon. Okay, perfect. We just, I did not want to fight a dragon. Seriously, though. It might not be immediately obvious the order of events we've done and how they are a net. I think this is the jail dungeon. I think the dungeon connects to the throne room, though, doesn't it? I feel like there's an upstairs option here. Are we gonna get in trouble? Like right here? We'll see where this comes out. Mm. Yes, yeah, here's the Earl's table Divines right here. Bless you. May the ground you walk it might not be pass. immediately obvious that overall the actions we've taken have been in an effort for a, a stronger Skyrim for the Nords to stop the Aldemari Dominion and that has meant that we are disrupting the empire. And you could say only a strong empire would be able to stop the, the Aldemari guys, but um, we're just too short-sighted for that. We're Nords for Skyrim. Nords, 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 baby. Might be Orc Summer, but it is Nords Winter. And by destabilizing the, the vampires and simultaneously stabilizing the dawn guards i think that's a net positive by getting the thieves guild away from mercer F fray mercer fry who i think was just bad news all around that's a net positive I that you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city dagny that's the kind of things that makes me want to punch you off the bridge you know getting the dark brotherhood back on its feet as well in, a, in aligns with its original structure the, the religious organization that it is. I think it's also a net positive. You say, why? They're killing people. Yeah, but the last thing you want is is a weak Skyrim. And these organizations have real power. And if an invading force moves in here, there's an opportunity for the, the Thanes of, 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 of Skyrim here to say, hey, can you kill one of them, Mr. Dark Brotherhood? You know, there's real power in being able to call on these organizations. 
And these organizations being stable and strong might not there are be... some that say the Dark like, Brotherhood is back and stronger than ever. Really? And they've made Dawnstar their home. Oh. Tell me, am I wrong? You're wrong. <laughs> so, you know, the, the thing is, these organizations might not be forces for good as much as they are forces for evil. But they are defensive lines between us and the Aldmar Dominion. There's a couple of main quests that are still left, as this is the end of the Dark Brotherhood quest line. We've kind of struggled our way through it. I put together a guide that has kind of most of the console commands I had to use to get through it, but ultimately, that's the reward. The armor set I've got on, as long as you do the, the extra side quest, as well as the... Uh, we get a sweet chef's hat again, but we get to go cool places, meet new people. We did this kind of at the end of the Thieves Guild quest line, not so much with the vampires. I think ignoring the bugs, it's a pretty good quest line. I think we get to go interesting places. I think one thing that's really special about this quest line is we're a part of history. You know, even though like establishing the Thieves Guild was historic, I mean, maybe not establishing, but re-establishing them as the legends that they are. We kind of stepped into a legend there in, in, in a history that goes back too far for us. With the Brotherhood though, like, we killed the Emperor. We killed the Emperor of the Known Lands. Like, it's kind of a big deal. This is the thing that, like, will send ripple effects throughout the history books for hundreds if not you know thousands of years in a way that being the Dovakin will not it's cool that we are the dragon born and we can slay these dragons and maybe save the the the, the known universe but ultimately outside of skyrim the whole dragons and Dovakin thing probably not that hype but the emperor dying everybody's gonna know about that we were part of a a moment of 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 genuine history and that's kind of fun. I think that's kind of unique. It's kind of unique. And it's something that, you know, even when the series is done, there's I'm, I'm still going to walk around saying, knock, knock, Dovakin. Uh, we might have killed the Emperor. We're here to kill you. Like, there's things like that that are just kind of fun. It's on our resume, okay? Jeez, relax. It's, it's a resume stuffer. Listen, the point is, as far as the quest line goes, we got a sweet horse. We got a new magic trick. We got a sweet dagger. We got... A, a ring that discounts destruction spells. We got to go interesting places, meet new people, hiding a body. Is that the only quest in Skyrim you have to hide a body? I don't know, but we, we were given a bonus reward just for hiding that body. That's kind of fun. You know, this quest line forced us to engage with some mechanics that normally we just blow up the bodies and run, you know? Like we're not here to like stay around and play. Hide the body, you know? How about Cicero? Is he the only jester in all Skyrim? Like, I think there were some genuinely unique things, interactions, good rewards. I think we went to places we might not normally go. Like Falkreath, we somehow always kind of avoid, it seems. It's less intentional so much as it just, like, Falkreath falls right through the cracks, you know? Listen, I think overall, it's a strong, positive quest line. Again, ignoring the bugs. And I think Astrid's likable. I think she's believable. I think it's a little obvious that, like, she's the bad guy. And maybe that's my own fault for, like, kind of hyper-focusing on it. I think if I was, like, not making this series, I was just kind of relaxed playing. I think the Astrid thing would have, like, surprised me. I think if I was just... work, it might suit you. Hey, thanks, Omran. I think if I was just kind of casually playing my way through, just, you know, sometime here, sometime there... I think Astrid being the betrayal would have would have definitely caught me flat footed, but taking the time to like read the journals, pay attention and like summarize them, um, you know, for us here and whatnot, the, you know, these, these, you know, making these types of series. And I've talked about this a little bit in my live streams. It changes your relationship with the material. You just engage with it slightly differently in a, in a meaningful way. And because of that, it is different. So I think if I wasn't making this series, I probably wouldn't have noticed that Astrid was was not a force, a strong force for the the guild, the Dark Brotherhood's you know current future direction, which is you know something that that was genuinely pretty sneaky. They snuck in there. So just to, just for a frame of reference here. Main quest lines in Skyrim, we've done the Thieves Guild, the Assassin's Guild, the Mages Guild, we knocked out the Vampires of Dawn Guard. Next up, we have just actually four quests left, and a couple we're actually halfway through. It might not be obvious, but we are. We have the main story quest of the Dragonborn, 
which we're going to make sure we journey through. We have the Civil War, which is afoot. We have the Companions Guild of Skyrim. And lastly, we have the Dragon Dude DLC, which is exactly what it's called. It is the Dragon Dude DLC. That's not a name I made up because I can't remember it. It is the Dragon Dude DLC. We got to do something with the Dragon Dude. Remember the cultists showed up and like punched us in the gonads and we were like, oh no, not our gonads please. And then they showed up again and beat us up. And we took a note from their pocket and I literally wrote down on my hand or whatever. I was like, don't read their note. It'll start a bad quest. Yeah, we got to beat up that guy, the dragon dude and the dragon dude DLC. It's going to be a going to be a real fisticuff showdown between dragon dudes. Listen, once we get through those main quests, we'll see what else we stumble into, but that's probably going to be the end of the series. YouTube channel members always get to vote in the community post and can comment on those YouTube members only can post so that you can say, hey, no, 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 you really want to make sure you don't miss this side quest is um, this one's really, really good. And it looks like you're going to blow past it because right now we are currently good. I think it even says it in the system stats. We have completed 96 quest, it says which uh, is kind of a lot is we are in episode 60 something here. And that means we're doing like more than one quest an episode consistent. And it's not, it says we've completed four quest lines, but I'm not sure how accurate some of these metrics are here is it says we've completed 109 miscellaneous objectives. Okay. Does that mean we've really done 200 quest, right? Like example, when we went and got the armor we're wearing, we got a token, right? That was a miscellaneous objective, not a quest. So we've been busy. <laughs> so I think right now we're, we're going to focus on the main quest and keep punching our way through again. Yeah, if you're catching this, you know, in the moment, that's awesome. You have an opportunity to influence the series. If you're watching this after the fact, you're going, darn, I wasn't here for the Skyrim series, but I'm here for whatever the current members only series is that's in the members vault for the time being, which they, they do cycle through. They don't always stay in there forever. It's not like a throw away the key kind of thing. You know, feel free to as always comment so that, you know, if there's something you really want to see, we make that happen as that's kind of why these exist for you. Listen, we're going to probably move towards the island next with the dragon dude. It's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And the reason for that is, again, we're Nords for Skyrim. And I think getting rid of the vampire threat, strengthening the Dawn Guard, getting the Thieves Guild and the Assassin Guild, who kind of like make a handshake. They're kind of like two hands to the same body on their feet and getting the college, the Mages College again as well. Getting the Mages College, getting rid of the, the threat there from the... Oh, who are the dudes again? The bad elf dudes who are moving in. I can't, the Aldmari Dominion. Getting them, like, locked down, like... And getting the Mages College, like, functioning again. Not, like, being, like, strong-armed and, and, and spied on in, in a major way. We're, like, Skyrim's coming together. The individual parts, these individual powers are coming together. And... By taking out the Emperor, I think it's given us enough of an edge in the Civil War. I think the dragons are disruptive enough for both sides. I think it's time we take on the Dragon Dude in the Dragon Dude DLC, which is totally what that's called. And I think getting rid of that kind of like foreign invader will allow us to move a little deeper into the the main quest in the Civil War in, in the, the Companions. I think after the Dragon Dude, we'll go Companions. They're kind of like the Warriors. And it's going to make sense to like get them all strapped up and, and ready and, and locked in, loaded in boots, ready to hit the ground so we can we can blast our way through the Civil War and take care of the dragon threat. I'm that. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye for now.